This is code.org. Let's see what we got going on here. Creating functions to draw scenes. The provided code draws one of two different scenes based on where the mouse is on the screen. It either calls the draw scene one function or the draw scene two function. However, these functions don't exist yet. Feel free to be creative. Awesome. So we got to create these scenes and we have the function names. Our draw loop here, it, draw, it runs 30 times a second. We have an if statement, which is a conditional statement. We're checking if the mouse is y value is less, is greater than 200. So if it's greater than 200, we would run draw scene one. And oh yeah, so that's the bottom of the screen. Okay, so if it's greater than 200, we're gonna run draw scene one, and then we do not run draw scene two because it's an if else statement. So if it's less than 200, or if the mouse is off the screen, then we run draw scene two, and we would not draw one, draw what draw scene one. All right, let's add these functions. Let's drop both of them in. I'm gonna do spaces real quick, line breaks. You don't need to. It just looks nice. Draw scene one, draw scene two, and this is the chunk of code that will run when we say its name. Let's see what there is. Ah, yeah. Okay, so they have night and day. All right, and. Mm, Maybe I'll do Mars or, or mm. all right, uh, drawing here, background, color first, uh, sure, blue sky, sky blue, blue sky, sky blue. Does that work? Yep. And notice the mouse is on the lower part of the screen. That's when the sky shows up. Let's do another background color. And did they use gray? No, black. Okay. I'm going to do night as well. And real quick, add an ellipse. So that will be our sun. And. I want to change the color of it. Make sure you have the color above the ellipse because you got to pick the paint before you draw the ellipse. If you put the color below it, it doesn't even work. Let's see. All right. So here is the X and Y value. Now this should be the width and height. Oh yeah, that's way too big. We might want to down the screen more. Keep in mind 400 Y is the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to push it off the screen for the center of the circle. And I want the server smaller. 300, 300 maybe. Uh, eh, that might be too small. And of course, I'm sure yours is going to be a lot better than mine. Okay, and yeah, let's do the red planet. Let's do Mars. Does this look okay? All right, but the sky doesn't really make sense now. Yeah, I uh, let's get rid of the outline. So just like no str ah. And make sure you do have the color above it. I just dragged mine below here, right? You do want to have the color above it. Otherwise, it draws the ellipse first and then finds out what color you want it. We also want no stroke above it to tell it we don't want an outline on this shape. If I put no stroke beneath it, it doesn't work. Fix the sky to pink because it's Mars. They have a pink sky, I guess. Well, now they do. Okay. Yeah, let's do uh, another ellipse for a cool Martian sun. Now notice I have no stroke above it still because I'm not gonna have my sun have an outline and that no stroke will impact both of them. All right, so width 50, 50, 200, 200 should be this upper corner. Yep, you see X there. Um, I mean, 200, yikes. The upper corner should be, <laughs> I'm losing it. I want it a bit off the screen. So we need negative 100 and then 100 to be a bit off the screen. All right, looking good, looking good. And that we can't even see it right now because it's well off the screen. I want to do what they did. They're using the counter pattern. So we're going to need a variable. I want to make ours move across as well. So I'm going to call this sun x. Notice I have the variable at the top of my script because that way everything within the code can reach the variable. We can use sun x in all of our functions. Everything can see sun x. So it's a global variable. Now I'm going to change the x value right here to be our variable value because I'm now going to use that counter pattern, right? Sun x equals sun x plus one and have that value change. Draw loop runs 30 times a second, so our sun's x location will be changed by 1 30 times. Oh, that's a small sun. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's faster now. And it's still small. And yeah, let's give it a color other than gray. Ooh, cool. Maybe a bit bigger and awesome. All right, let's take a look at our night one. Nighttime. Ba -ba -da -dum. All right. So I'm going to do something similar here, but we're going to be looking out at the planet and maybe a shooting star. So an ellipse 300. Yeah, that's a nice size. It's kind of center, right? Ooh, what color should I make it? I kind of want it bronze. That's not working. 
Maybe I should use the RGB code. Bur orange work, maybe? Nope. Okay, I gotta try using the RGB code. Oh, okay, so for this, I just looked it up for bronze. I'm gonna want 128-ish, yeah, 74, and then 15 we'll try. Wait a minute, that's background. Whoops, let me fix that. There we go, background's black. There we are, I went the fill of the planet. Eh, not exactly that color. I'm gonna crank this up a bit. The great thing about code is you can run things a lot. Just keep trying out new stuff. Hmm. Let's try this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. So it's mercury. See, it's kind of a bronze color, maybe? Eh, I don't know. All right, now keep in mind, we need draw two. So when it's greater than or when it's less than 200, our night will show up or when it's off the screen. As long as it's not greater than 200, we're going to see night like we are now. So I want some movement. What if I do stars like falling from the sky? I think that is what I'm going to do with that type of emotion. And we'll do a couple rectangles here and just make them drop. And I'll start it at 50x and we want it off the screen again. We're going to have it fall from above. So maybe negative 50 and then 150 and then uh, I might vary these a bit. So they start at different heights, negative 60. Let me add a third rectangle here. 100 and negative 45. Oh, 200 way too big. Sure, 20, and uh, I'm not actually certain on these. I might change these up later, but let's give it a shot. And so remember, this function's only going to be running if our mouse is either off the screen or if it is less than 200. That's when this code gets called by the draw function, and we'll see this scene. Otherwise, we're going to see the day scene. All right, so I'm going to make a variable, star y, and I'm going to set it negative 50. This is going to be used in the counter pattern to make our star sh sh drop. So this will be their y value. And then I'm slowly, let's slowly add to the y value. I'm just going to replace star y here. And yep, start at y. And then we need to start at y equals start at i minus, ooh, what was randomized? I'm going to randomize it some just to give it a little bit of variance. Cool, let's try. Whoa, we have a big square and nothing's fallen. Oh, I have an extra rectangle, that would make sense. Where where are the stars? Whoa. Uh -oh. oh, I'm subtracting. We need to add, right? Because uh, 400Y is the bottom of the screen, so to make things fall, you add. I want a color here. Let's make them yellow, fill yellow, fill yellow, drop, drop, yep. Boom. Maybe shrink my stars down a little bit, and perfection. We have a fancy scene with a conditional that responds to our mouse. Pretty uh, cool.